Okay, back on this fella again. What we'll do today is we're going to do the eyes and kind of do some uh, more detailing on the shape of the head. Now, looking at my little diagram here, here you can see right there where I'm drawing the shape of the eye sockets like here on setting bowl you can see that too that's what you want your your eyes to uh, begin with. They're just sort of like, you know, if you drew a little line through here, like he was wearing glasses, they almost look like goggles. Even down here on uh, this fella, it's, it's there too. They're not as pronounced, but it's there. You can't, there's no way you can get around that. I mean, that's just the way things are with the human face. So I've kind of penciled them in here. Of what I'm going to do. And that's that's what we're going to start with. Okay? A lot of carvers they they immediately want to go to these eyes. I don't know. I guess you know. They say, the, what is it, the eyes, you can see a man's soul by looking at his eyes. Maybe that's why they want to go there. I don't know. I don't. I like to build the platform before I start any detail. So what I'm going to do is just slowly go around. and create the platform for the detail that will come later on. And by doing this, it also helps you to see <laughs> how to plan for the next next uh, part of the eye. I say I always like to clean up as I go along, that way I don't have to come back again.
There we go. Now we can see. See the platform has been built. It's been built. <laughs> Judy telling me how to hold this so you can see. So I'm going to round these things off just a little more. See how just that one little chip changed that? That was need to draw that up more at the angle there. Like that. What? You approve? As she oh. shakes her head. Thank you. Okay. Alright, so we've got those things in place. And we pretty well established the attitude of the character. His eyebrows are showing us that and some of his mouth, but those eyebrows are really what's doing that. So what I want to do next is I'm going to go over to my buffing wheel and polish this blade up so when I start doing these eyes, uh, this thing is as sharp as it can be. And it's pretty sharp when it's like that. Okay, so I'll be right back. Okay, I got my knife sharpened. What I'm doing now is I'm going to reestablish my eyes because I want to make sure I get them. There we go. That looks good. So there it goes. And like I say, I went and sharpened this. See the difference between that, that, and that? Quite a bit of difference. That's because this thing is very sharp now. That's important. So, first off, we're going to do the upper eyelid, this line right here. All right. So, I'm going to start back here. Just follow that along, just like that. I'm going to take that chip out. Just like that. Now, I'm going to come back to the same spot back there. Come back at just a slight angle, not straight in, and take that chip up. Clean it up. 
here. There was that chip. I knew it disappeared somewhere. When you're doing these eyes, you get one chance, so you want to make sure you do them right. So, on to the next one. So, starting back here on the other end of the eye this time, we come straight across, and then we're going to curve it down right there. And again, we take the chip out. And the eyeball is round. So back in here and right in here, uh, the eyeball assumes its round shape. So you can see it right there underneath the skin. See how it dips back there. Find my little knife here. That will allow me to get back in there. So I want to make make that just a little deeper than I normally would. Get that out of there. there, see? We just did the same thing as that photograph shows right there. Just by taking that little bitty chip out of there. Now I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to do the same thing right here. There's a little bitty thing in there. It makes all the difference in the world. On. There, now let's just look at this a while. This one's a lot deeper than that, so let's see if we can match it up here. Might not get it exactly, but we can get it pretty close. See, now this knife isn't as sharp as this one. Alright, now, see this line how it continues on across there? Same thing here. Right there, see that? Same thing happens on him, except we can't see that. So we're going to bring this one down and carry it out like that. Now, what I want to do, as I've said before, I want the lower eyelid to go under the upper one. Just like that shows right there. So I want to cut that about right there.
Turn around these things off a little. And same thing over here. better that makes it look. Now, what we want to do keep a round shape, cut shape going. We'll get rid of those pencil lines if we can. So good. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to Again, clean up as you go along, and you don't have to go back. It's just not sharp enough. Now this guy has lines above his eyelid right here. This guy does not. So it's up to us of what we want to do. So let me go ahead and finish this one. Still don't like this. And that helped it a lot. I'm going to take 
take a little deeper notch out of it right here. And that pencil line doesn't help either. There, I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so now what we're going to do, see how this cheekbone here comes up to here and it dips right there. If you take and you put your fingers up there to the side of your head, you will fin you will you'll see that dip right there. See it? So what we're going to do is we're going to do that right here. And it's going to see how bigger big the head is, forehead is here. That's just too big. First of all, I'm going to try to even that up to where it matches to the other side. So we're going to, right here, we we'll just dig in and take out a chip right there. And make the hair match the dip. same thing over here. Looking good. All right, so we're going along here now. So let's just uh, look at these pictures again. See the line right there? Especially this right here, the way it's really cut in here. Again, if you put your fingers up here, you can feel the depth of that. That's where the uh, jaw meets the upper part of the skull. And this is just flat skin here. So they're not fat. Those guys aren't fat like I am. So their divot is going to be a lot deeper than mine. So, but we're going to put there. So we're just going to draw a line down equal to the uh, cheekbone. Just like that. And starting out here real shallow and I'm going to gradually go deeper and then come back out and then come in from the point to the line there and take that out now look what that did to the face how much more interesting that face has become since I did that Same thing here, just make sure we got our lines matched up. This one's a little low, so I'm going to make it a little high. Again, deep, and then come out shallow.
and then get cut off that sharp angle line. I don't want that. And lastly, we're going to bring this line on out. That line right there is what we want. It's not a deep line, it's just a shadow line. And you get so far that you have to turn it around and go it the other way. So we do the same thing over here. liking this the more I see the stuff details show up. I'm going to put a small one right in between. Okay, now lastly, I'm going to give him some frown lines. Get rid of this hump here. It makes that look a lot better. Something may well happen up in here that's going to change everything later on, but uh, I ain't going to tell you what it is. Could be something big. Anyway, I think we're we're finished with the face now. I'm pretty sure. 
He looks pretty good, I think. <laughs> Got a big schnoz, but that's all right. I like him. So anyway, now I think in the next uh, video what we're going to do is we're going to start on the uh, body part of this. Because I want to see what it's going to look like overall. So, until then, uh, I always forget to say this, especially right down on the lower, side, there's a little red box down there. Hit that and subscribe to this channel. That way you can, uh, you know, you'll know when the next video pops up. I work kind of slow now. I'm not like I used to. I used to turn these things out pretty fast, but I just don't do that anymore. I've got We've got so many, much other stuff going on around here that uh, I can't sit down here eight hours a day like I used to. I'm lucky if I can squeeze in a couple hours a week keeping up with the other things that go on around this place. So uh, being able to know when a new video pops up, you know, could be of use to you. But anyway, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate that. And... Uh, until then, I'll talk to you later.